So chorus D then is a little bit different and uh, it's just going to sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so something like that. So all I'm doing there then, the first part is going to be the exact same as chorus C. So um, you know, instead of sort of telling you where to put your fingers, you know, you should hopefully have learned that now from the previous section. So that's basically just going to sound like this. Yeah, so remember four down, up, down, up, then four down, up, down, up. So from there then, I'm going to move it all up a string. So index finger, fret number seven, string six, ring finger. Fret 9 string 5, little finger, fret 9 string 4. We're going to go down and up 8 times. Okay, and then from there to your index finger on a fret number 5 string 5, ring finger, fret 7 string 4, little finger, fret 7 string 5. We're going to play all three of those once downwards. Okay, then put your hand onto palm mute, play it uh, 6 times. Okay, then four more times, and then four times where we're not palm muting it. Okay, so put that last section together then, and um, it'll just sound like this. Okay, so that's chorus D then, and um, like I said, you know, you shouldn't really have too many problems with that. And uh, again, you know, we've covered um, chorus A, B, C, D. Obviously, all you need to do, put them all together. That's going to give you like the entire chorus for you. And uh, what we can have a look at now is like a little bit, uh, like a little bit of a fill that's going to play just before the solo does. So that's what we can have a look at now. All right, so the fill then is going to sound something like this. Okay, something like that then. And um, right, another chord shape that we've already covered then. So index finger, uh, fret number. Five, string number five, ring finger, fret seven, string four, little finger, fret seven, string number three. I'm going to play all three of those strings down once. Okay, then put your hand on to palm mute, play it, um, well, play just strings four or five, six times downwards. Okay, then if you look at the tab, we're going to play it eight more times. Yeah. And then play it seven more times. Okay. And uh, the reason why we're just going to play it seven times is because instead of playing it on the eighth time, we're just going to play a different note, which is going to sound like this. Yeah, like a bit of a slide. And uh, all I'm doing there then, uh, I think on the tab, I've told you to slide from like fret three all the way up to 15. You know, like, you don't have to slide all the way from down there if you don't want to. You can slide from, say, fret seven or whatever if you want to. So to do that, then all I'm doing, putting my middle finger onto say fret, uh, like I say, you know, fret th uh, three, then on string number two. I'm just going to pick that once, and then as soon as I've picked it, slide all the way up to fret fifteen. Okay, simple as that, then. And then to finish off that part, then it's going to be your middle finger, fret five, string five, index finger, fret four, string five. Play it, uh, play string five once. Then take your middle finger off. Middle finger back on, middle finger back off. So, yep. So um, that entire little fill then again will just sound something like this then. Okay. So that's like the fill, and that's just going to take us into the solo then. All right. So the solo then, um, we're going to be playing some palm muted power chords and also some single notes. And I'll uh, play it dead slow for you, and it should sound something like this. Okay, so to start off with then, index finger, fret 5, string 6, ring finger, fret 7, string 5. Play this downwards, palm muted four times. Okay, then from there what I do, uh, take your fingers off, put your uh, little finger onto fret 7, string 4. Then your um, ring finger onto fret six, string four. Gonna play uh, string four once. Then take your little finger off. Play it again. And then what I'm gonna do is put my index finger onto fret four on string number five and play that. Okay. So that last part. Yep. Put that together with the first palm muted part. <laughs> 
Okay, so from this shape now then, uh, what we can do, put your, well leave your index finger on fret 4 string 5 and then your ring finger onto fret um, 6 string number 4 and play that downwards 4 times, palm muted. Okay, and then what we're going to do is play just string number 4, take your ring finger off, lay your index finger flat so you're covering fret 4 on both strings 4 and 5, pick string number 4 and then string number 5. So those last three notes, okay and all together, alright, and from there index finger fret 2 string 6, ring finger fret 4 string number 5, 4 times downwards, okay then, take your fingers off, it's a bit of a stretch this one, index finger fret 4 string 4, stretch with your little finger to fret number 7 string 5, take that off and then your middle finger fret 5 string 5, so all together, okay and to finish off then um, you're going to leave your index finger on fret 5 string 5 put your ring finger onto fret 7 string 4 downwards 4 times yep and then from there then all I'm going to do is pick string number 5 at fret number 5 once slide that down to fret 4 and then put my middle finger onto fret 5 string 5 pick that and take it back off and pick it again so it's that familiar shape and you know all together with the palm muted bit okay so the entire solo then like the first part of it solo A again it'll just sound like this then okay right so the last part of the solo then um, it's going to be dead simple it's basically just um, four or five different chord shapes and uh, this part's going to take us into like the bridge where I think it's just like a bass playing and I think is uh, doing the singing like there's not actually any guitar so um, again this last part of the solo then solo B it's going to be dead simple and sound like this yeah so can't really get any easier than that then and it's going to be your index finger, fret 5, string number 6, ring finger, fret 7, string 5, little finger, fret 7, string number 4, down once and let it ring out. Okay, yeah, and then it's your index finger, fret 4, string number 5, ring finger, fret 6, string 4, little finger, fret uh, number 6, string number 3, once more. Okay. Then index finger fret number two, string number six, your ring finger fret four, string five, and your little finger fret four, string number four. Okay, finally, um, your index finger fret five, string number five, uh, ring finger fret seven, string four, little finger fret seven, string number three, play that. Now to finish off, back to that original shape, so move all that upper string and it's as simple as that okay so that's solo B then um, you know, all you've got to do is play solo A a couple of times then start playing uh, solo B and like I said I think that just takes you into the bit where there's a bridge and there's not actually any guitar but then after uh, the bridge it's going to go to the chorus and it's going to be a slightly different chorus again then and uh, that's what we're going to have a look at how to play now alright so chorus E then I've called this and uh, it's just going to sound like this okay so quite simple again um, it's basically just going to be playing chords that we've already learned so um, instead of sort of wasting your time and telling you where to put your fingers you know by now you should probably know where to put your fingers just by looking at the tab so what we'll do this time then is just talk about the strumming and uh, you, know, you can see I've split up into four different sections so that's your four different chord shapes so yeah that's your four different chords 
and uh, it's going to be the same drawing pattern each time we're playing each uh, chord shape seven times first of all it's going to be down once and then a little bit of a pause then down up down up until you've played it six more times so like this okay down down up down up down up okay and then the next shape then on the seventh and nine up a string and then five and seven on the string below all together okay so that's chorus um, E then chorus F it's going to be the exact same uh, chords again so you know, I'll not talk through those again only difference is um, totally different strumming pattern we're going to be playing it four times all downwards and it's going to sound like this okay so that first chord shape then it's um, down then down and then down quickly twice so um, you know, again if you just look at the tab you can see I've tried to split it up a little bit for you so it's kind of like once and then again and then twice more so okay then it's the next shape then upper string and the last shape oh, all together Okay, so that's chorus F. Uh, from there, then it's going to end the song, and all we're going to do to end the song is index finger, fret five, string number six, ring finger, fret seven, string five, little finger, fret seven, string four, down once. So that takes you to the end of the song, then. So once again, then that's Emily by Bowling for Soup. Uh, all you need to do look way down beneath the video. I've got the full tab for you. So like I said, now you know all the different parts of the song, you know, you shouldn't really have too many problems with them. Uh, all you've got to do, put those sections together, follow through the tab, and, um, you know, as always, like, I hope you've uh, had a good lesson, I hope you've 